Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna do a dual book review. Um, a little different than our normal book reviews, but somebody actually asked the question, which probability book should they get? Uh, doing probability and statistics. Um, so we're gonna dive on in here and cover two books. The first book is Probability and Statistics for Engineering and Sciences. Uh, I have the eighth edition by J. L. DeVore. And the second book is Probability and Statistical Inference, 8th edition by Robert V. Hogg and Elliot A. Tannis. Um, so these books are okay. Um, I hate to tell you this, but I don't really recommend either book for learning the material. Um, so one of the big complaints online, if you look like on Amazon reviews, and even for myself, is that these books have a lot of math in them. And that's okay, right? That, that's a good thing in a lot of instances. But if you're coming from a background where you perhaps don't have a very strong math background, these books just essentially are convoluted and confusing. Um, I think the problems in the book are kind of interesting. Um, they're okay, but not great. I don't think the application in the book is stellar. I don't think it's put into super well context. And obviously you have to have like dumbed down versions to create short problems. But I just feel like the books are a bit convoluted. So if these are like your first books for probability and statistics, to be honest with you, I don't even know what to tell you to get. Um, the reason I say that is because I found statistics as a business student when I took business stats, which is like super easy, simplified, like distributions and Z stats. They just made it way too convoluted. There weren't very clear examples in it. I don't think the professor was very good I had. Um, I don't even remember the textbook I had, but it was not very good. I mean, it could have been the probability and statistical inference. I don't quite recall, but in general, I just thought it was too convoluted and it's hard to explain statistics um, without the math in a lot of ways. But at the same time, I feel like you can explain things conceptually without having to do all the math. And I just feel these books don't do a very good job at that. Um, if you're looking to pick up a book though, like a reference book, uh, both of these books I think are very good. Um, I would personally get, I think the probability and statistics for engineering and sciences book, one, because the book is thicker, so it has more content and more details. Um, yes, I know that's kind of like a bad way to pick a book is based on how thick it is, but I like having more stuff to look through, more stuff to reference. Um, I did like in the probability and statistics book that it had like the chart where you have probability and statistics and it talks about how, you know, statistics is looking backwards in time and probability is predicting forwards in time and how you have that relationship. So I think that part of the book is very good and clear. Um, I wouldn't say it's a terrible book though, but again, it's for engineering and the sciences. So if you're using this as a first time book, this might not be the best book for you. If you have an engineering background, I think this is actually a pretty good book to dive into. Um, it has the math, you understand the mathematical notation, it gives you kind of an understanding of what's going on. And kind of like some of these big topics here, I'm just gonna read through quickly so you get an idea of kind of what it covers. Uh, it covers overview and descriptive statistics, probability, uh, discrete random variables, probability distributions, continuous random variables and probability distributions, joint probability distributions and random samples, point estimation, statistical intervals based on a single sample, uh, tests of hypotheses based on a single sample, Inferences based on two samples, the analysis of variance, which I found a lot of students think is like amazing stellar work. So it might be a good chapter to go through if you're looking to read in this and you have a bit of a math background. Uh, multivariate analysis of variance, simple linear regression correlation, nonlinear and multiple regression, goodness of fit tests and categorical data analysis, discrete free procedures, quality control methods, and then it has an appendix. So I think it's a decent book. You have to have some math background. I think it helps like this book, the examples are engineering and science based. So if you're coming from an engineering science background of undergrad and like you're taking some class in undergrad and you really wanna dive in and get started, I think the book will suffice. Uh, it'll get you going. I think, again, I'm gonna like put this huge disclaimer here from all the complaints from the last one. This isn't like a high-end PhD book. It doesn't make you all fancy and smart. But I think a lot of people that work in industry will tell you the biggest flaw, at least from my perspective and a lot of others, is that you don't understand distributions. And I know it sounds really stupid because, oh, it's simple. But when you start getting into like time series applications and looking at distributions across time, uh, and then you start moving into non-parametric stats, I think really understanding distributions and probability theory, especially when you start going into stochastic calculus, which is like calculus applied with probability theory, um, 
These are important. These are things that you can't get enough of. And so I think these books both do a decent job at it. Um, I think they're both good books and getting you started, but I cannot say that it's like a five out of five. Um, it's not something you'll just pick up and like clearly state everything. And then just to give you like a quick overview of what's in the probability and statistical inference book by Hogg and Tanis. So these are just the sections of this book, which is probability, discrete distributions, continuous distributions, bivariate distributions, distributions of functions and random variables, estimations, test of statistical hypotheses, non-parametric methods, Bayesian methods, some theory, and then quality improvements through statistical methods. Um, I think this book by Hogg and Tannis would be a better book if you're looking to kind of like do a quick dive and go through a bunch of different topics because it covers like Bayesian theory, for example. So I think this book would be better if you're looking for just like a quick overview, trying to get a little bit of knowledge, trying to cover your bases. If you're looking for something I think that is more detailed and driven into the topics themselves, um, I think Devor's book would be a lot better just for the fact that I think it covers topics a little more deeply. Um, it doesn't deviate though to the point that you're getting into other areas and topics, things you might be interested in. So I think if you wanna go to something that's a little like deeper and math and science focused, it's more for engineering and math, kind of like students, which makes sense and sciences. Whereas this book I think is just more of a overview of more topics. I mean, if you're kind of the check the box student, you're gonna get this book because you wanna check the box and say you've covered all these topics. But to be honest, you really need to get a listing of better books. And I think to really understand statistics thoroughly, um, you need to get both like one of these books to really do like basic statistics, but you really have to do the math. And I think like this book, for example, would do a little bit more of the math derivations um, to really understand what's going on behind the distributions, behind the calculations, so you can really figure out what's going on. But that being said, I think if you wanna work in industry, you do need to buy one of these books, plus you need to get things that are specific to your industry um, because different analyses are done in different industries and in different ways. So as a conclusion, I say both books, three out of three stars, um, they're average. They're not special, they're not fancy. Um, I don't even know off the top of my head what I would give as a probability or stats book that's not industry specific, um, that would be better than these books. Again, I'm not going through reviewing hundreds of different books looking for you, but maybe you on Amazon and look if you're looking for something that has higher star ratings. Uh, I think Amazon gave them both three out of three as well. So just kind of a perspective of alignment here. If you have books that you like that are stats and probability books, like list them below. Let, let's, let's see what they are. Uh, maybe other students will find this helpful, other professionals looking to learn more about this. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.